Hi, this is Crystal Calhoun and today we're going to be talking about color charts and creating our own color chart in Photoshop. Let's start off with a new document. We'll make it a thousand by a thousand pixels. Let's use the Eclipse tool. Hold down your shift key so that it's even. drag it up so that it fills out the board okay make sure that you have your rulers showing you can find that under the view and then rulers the rulers will help next we want to create a new layer and then use your line tool Five width is just fine. Let's change the color to a black. Let's focus on seven since seven is the center. Notice I have a on the ruler 14. So we'll just focus on seven. Let's create a new guide. A vertical guide. We'll put that on seven. Okay, we'll just focus on that get your line tool five and make sure it's dark go over the circle right about there would be fine let's follow that line down keeping it over that's pretty even okay great zoom out let's create a clone of that line and now turn it see how I hover over it and it changes the arrow so now it can turn but stay in the center at the same time so I'm turning it and I'm going to see over here and I want it to be changed uh, in an angle of 60 degrees double click now drop that down and create a clone of that one too and then let's do that again move it go over here Type in 60 degrees, double click, there. Okay, now I'm going to create a group of those in case I want to use them again later. And then a copy of that group. And then I want to merge those. Next, create a clipping mask. So now that it's over the circle, not we don't have the edges going over it we want those layers uh, mer to merge the layers now we have a circle that has the pie chart and we want to color it in with our primary colors first let's select with the eyedropper tool starting with red and get a paint bucket red then blue then yellow next we want to put in our primary uh, excuse me our secondary colors including orange green and purple okay so now we have ourselves a pie color chart Let's create some tertiary colors. We're going to create a copy of this duplicate. And then we want to turn it, oh sorry, we want to give it a 50% opacity. And then we're going to turn it 30%. Let's see over here. 30%. Double click there you have your tertiary colors so your primary would be the red right here the blue the yellow and the tertiary color uh, so the secondary color would be the orange the purple the green and the tertiary would be the ones in between so now you have a color wheel let's combine those together merge the layers 
If we want to define those lines, if you like those lines, you can get these up here. Create a clone. Thirty. Oops. Thirty. Now let's we can merge those now. And then we can create a clipping mask. And now it's nice, nicely done. We can move that away. It looks great. Okay. Select those and then merge layers. Now let's make it smaller. We can center it in the page by creating a copy of the background and then selecting that. And because we have our selecting tool here, and we have both selected. We're going to center both ways. Now it's in the center. And there's our our pie chart, our color pie chart. Let's give it a good name. Save as desktop JPEG color pie chart. Okay, there you have it, your color pie chart.